I was working on some gig prep today, got it done, so I thought I'd turn on the news. It was all a bunch of negative stuff that wasn't really that important for me to, to know. So I turned that off and I went on social media. And there was a lot of negative stuff there too. But I did see something that I felt was positive. And I contributed something that I felt was positive to it. And I thought I'd share it with you today. Justin Schwartz posted this. DJs who are over 40 give one piece of advice to DJs in their 20s. It can be about anything. Not only did I post something, but 156 other people posted too. Yeah, of course, a few of them are complete nonsense, but there are some good ones too. I thought I'd share some of them, just, just a few. But before we go any further, if you're tuning in for the first time, hello, my name is Brian. I'm one of the OG DJs here on YouTube. I'm kind of a no-nonsense mobile guy. Been at it since 2007. I am not here to sell you anything. I'm not here to tell you how it is or how you should think or anything else. But what I will do is humbly ask you, if you could, like the video. I would really appreciate it. It would help me out. It would help the viewership on the video as well. So that's all I ask. Thank you very much. If you could do that, appreciate it. Anyway, here was my piece of advice. It's okay to say I don't know. That's how you learn stuff and get answers. You know how I know this? I say I don't know all the time. Because I don't. Some things I don't know. I've been at this since 1984, and there's still stuff that I don't know. You can't possibly know it all. And I know some people like to pretend they know it all. Listen, if I've been at it this long, and you've been at it for four years, and you know everything, what's going on with that? Either you're a super genius, or you're lying to me. <laughs> it's okay to say you don't know. I have more respect for people who say they don't know than people who just act like they know it all. I appreciate the confidence too because some people will say, yeah, of course I know how to do that because they are confident they can figure it out. And that's cool too, but consider that someone else out there might know and might be able to help you out. Or maybe you can learn together with them. I, I do this with my kids all the time. Hey, let's figure it out together. Let's Google it together. Let's look at our options and figure this all out instead of just proclaiming that you already know. That's something I would advise uh, you to do. Just be humble and, and don't try to front. I know social media is a complete landmine out there right now. Everybody wants to look really good on Instagram and TikTok and whatever social media platform you're on. You don't want to act like you make any mistakes. You want to act like that you're sometimes maybe more than you are don't be humble man I am just be honest about who you are and if you don't know something say you don't smart people do that when they don't know they ask or they find someone who does so that's my advice let's look at some others Chuck Linhard I think is how you say his name Linhard perhaps Save more money than you are now. That's really good advice. If I were to give that advice, I'd be a hypocrite because my bank account's way down here right now. I try, but hey, I'm a DJ. There's no nepotism here. I didn't inherit money. I make my money as a working DJ. And it's feast or famine sometimes. And I haven't been paid for some gigs that I've done. I'm waiting for that money to come through. And until then, I'm glad there's food in the deep freezer because we're gonna need it until the money comes in. So yeah, man, financially responsible, that's always a good thing. Do it, do it, absolutely do it. It's expensive out there, so it's hard to do. But if you can crack the code, let me know what it is. I, I, I would be happy to to save that money, as, as Chuck suggests here. And do your best with that. Aaron Crawley says, I'm 53. Go as light as you can. Bend with your knees. Sometimes less is more. There are a, a couple of people who are suggesting physical things or health things on here, and that's a really good suggestion. Now, me, I, I had that stroke at 39, or right before my 40th birthday anyway. It was a birth effect as far as I know. I didn't really have any control of it. So I've had to go lighter on my equipment. I had to do this. Because if I didn't, 
I was going to have to sell my house and everything in it and go on like full time disability. Uh, I don't want to do that. I, I, I've never taken money like that. I'm smart. Or, you know, relatively smart. And I'm pretty good at what I do. So I should be able to earn. But I have to do it in a way that I'm physically able to do it. And that was to make everything smaller. And I'm always trying to improve on that. This, this thing here. I've been building this thing with the X-Stand. I've got one for the club. I'm trying to make it even easier with this recurring gig I'm going to have starting in February. Yeah, work smarter, not harder kind of thing. It's, it's good advice. What else do we have here? Listen more than you talk. Look at successful people around you and why they are successful. That's good advice. Yeah? Take a look. At, there are people who you are going to look at as perhaps, what word am I looking for? Brain damage is fun. Um, inspiration. There, that's a good word. There are going to be people who inspire you. Make sure the right people are inspiring you. Not fake people. Real people. Make, make, make those your inspiration. The other part of this that he says is putting others down is not a good foundation to build yourself up. <sighs> Couldn't have said it better myself. If I've ever put anybody down on my channel, I apologize. And I take it back. And I'm sorry. That is totally not cool. Let's look here. Learn all types of music. Yeah, of course. I mean, we're DJs. That's what we should be doing. There are a lot of DJs who are bedroom DJs, and they're interested in their EDM or their their tech house or whatever subgenre of dance music they enjoy. They don't really care about anything else. They just want to put two beats together and go for it. That's cool. But, yeah, if you're going to be a working DJ, you kind of got to go where the money is and... Sometimes that means maybe playing some music that isn't your favorite music. I definitely do it. It's a treat for me when I can play the music that I love. But, yeah, it's a good idea to learn all types of music. And that's Mike McKing who, who threw that one out. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, Thomas Capitelli, I believe, is, is the name. And I'm probably butchering these names. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Protect your ears. Fantastic advice. I'll take it a step further. Don't only protect your ears, but protect your audience's hearing as well. If you're sending out harsh sounds to the crowd and you're causing tinnitus and everyone's screaming at each other, something's wrong. If it hurts, something's wrong. It's possible to send sound out to an audience that's all pleasure and no pain. Watch those meds. Play good, clean files. Bring an appropriate system for the type of event you're doing. If you're doing a 150-person wedding reception, don't bring a wall of sound with ETXs, man. It's not the thing to do. Bring what's appropriate for the gig. Don't play too loud. Protect your hearing and your audience is hearing. That's, I think, a pretty good piece of advice right there that I can just throw out there and add to, to what he said. Let's see, what else we got? Sean Passian, I think I said his name right. Find your niche. Grow into your niche. Stay flexible. Find your tribe. Network. And if you're the smartest one in the room, find another room. <laughs> That's some pretty interesting advice there. And I, I see where he's coming from. Let's see if we can break this down a little bit. Find your niche. Yeah. I think what this has to do with, and there was another comment here that, that I really liked, and if I can find it, that it kind of tied into that. I really liked it. Give me just a second here. We will find it. Steve Moody says... Don't ever try to be anyone but yourself. In my earlier years, I tried so hard to emulate other DJs, both in my radio and mobile career. Business didn't truly take off until I found my own voice in the crowd. I can never do some of the things that I see 
others do exactly the way that they do, but none of the others can do what I do exactly the way I do it. That's great advice. Be yourself. I can tell you when I was in my 20s, early 20s, I had like this stage persona. I had a DJ name. <laughs> because I wasn't comfortable in my own skin. The other thing that I was doing is emulating other DJs. That's what you do when you're learning. You emulate others. But eventually, you start to come into your own. I mean, that's the ultimate goal anyway. I was watching the Kennedy Center Awards thing on YouTube for Dave Chappelle, and he stood up and he talked about this quote that he loved. He was talking about being a comedian. But he was talking about a quote from Miles Davis, who is, uh, if you don't know who he is, a trumpet player, very famous guy. <laughs> Check out the album Kind of Blue. It's really good. You can play for a cocktail. Anyway, so Miles Davis is being interviewed, and he says, it's really cool when you start playing like yourself. And the interviewer says, well, what are you talking about? He says, well, when you first start learning how to play the trumpet, you try to play like this person and this person and this person and this person. You emulate them. You learn their skill and kind of try to figure it out. But then one day, you take all of that combined with your own personal touch and you start playing like you. You're not emulating anyone anymore. But you've taken inspiration. And inspiration is good. You find those people who inspire you, and you find those DJs who you like, and, and, and you try to do things kind of their way. But don't stop there. Find somebody else. Try some things their way and incorporate that into what you're doing. And I think about guys like Prince, and I know some of you younger guys are like, Prince, really? No, Prince is cool. Check Prince out. But Prince was a lot of different things. Prince was Jimi Hendrix. Prince was Little Richard. Prince was Mick Jagger. Prince was... So many other people. He was Sly Stone. He was Rick James. My gosh. He was even Joni Mitchell a little bit. He took all that and combined it into his own thing. And, and we think of Prince as one of a kind, but he was inspired by so many others. And, and great DJs are. I was inspired. There were a lot of DJs when I was younger who took me under their wing and showed me things. And there were others that I admired and I watched. It's not just DJs, though. I get inspired by other things. I remember... We went to go see Jay Leno live. I was in California. I got to see that before he retired from The Tonight Show. And I've watched The Tonight Show, and I've heard Jay's monologue, and sometimes he picks on people or whatever. But he came out and spoke to the crowd before the cameras were rolling. I've never heard a person with a kinder voice and who was kinder to an audience than Jay was. And I walked out of there. With, with, he made such an impression on me. He's like, I'm not nice enough. I want to be Jay nice. And those are the kind of things that I, I try to work on because that inspired me. I'm not trying to emulate Jay, but I'm trying to be kind like Jay. Anyway, that's pretty good advice. And there was one more here that I wanted to talk about. Take care of your health so you can play the long game. Talked about that a little bit earlier. And yes, absolutely. I will also say this. When you are young and if you're good and you end up Getting into some place like a cool club. I got into cool clubs when I was young and DJing. It's pretty early um, in my career. I, I was doing some really good clubs. And I got a lot of attention. And I was offered a lot of substances and things that I did not take advantage of. A lot of people did. And I can tell you that a lot of those people are not around anymore. Eating watching your weight, all those things. Yeah, I'm disabled, but I'm relatively fit for a disabled person. My weight is good. I'm pretty strong. Try to sleep good. Try to eat right. You know, do your best and keep yourself healthy. Because you're going to need your health to do this. You need your health to not only do this job, but to live. So do take care of yourself. That should be enough advice from old guys for one afternoon. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate that. We'll see you soon. And I don't remember if I mentioned this earlier, but coming up next week, I may or may not have some sneak peeks of equipment from a company or two 
before the debut with Nam. I may or may not. You have to stick around and find out. Thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.